Staying focused for 10 minutes alone in a lecture or class has always been difficult for me, let alone three or four hours consistently. You see, the thing is, over the years, I've tried many different strategies. I sat at the very front. I sat at the very back. I've taken notes during class. I stopped taking notes during class. I've done a lot of things. But every time I try one of these strategies, sure, it works for the first time because I'm a little bit motivated at trying something new, but it never sticks. It only works once and never again. Obviously that's unsustainable. I can't just keep trying different strategies to motivate myself every single hour of every single day. I need something a little bit more consistent. That's where I realized something. Focusing in class isn't just about a series of actions I'm supposed to take in order to tune into my inner focus. It's about a change of approach and mindset on a fundamental level. All it took was this one change of mindset that took me from not being able to focus at all to being able to focus for multiple hours consistently. So what is it exactly? It's actually really simple in principle, but it requires a little bit of mental power to implement. Here's how it goes. Instead of going into a lecture hall and trying to learn anything the lecturer is talking about by passively listening to what they have to say, what you want to do instead is go into the lecture hall and orient yourself by giving yourself a framework of what the lecture could be potentially discussing. Let me give you an example. Suppose I'm attending a lecture about pregnancy complications. Now, I could just sit in class and listen to the lecture talk about these complications and try to gain information from there. I found instead, by giving yourself a very broad framework, you can stay a little bit more focused on the class. What this means is when I go into a lecture hall and sit down to take a class, I would actively think on how the topic of pregnancy complications would broadly link to the topic of pregnancy itself. I have a base knowledge within me about pregnancy, how the placenta forms, how fertilization occurs, the fetal development, the continuation through the trimesters. And with this base of knowledge, I want to see how I can slot in the pregnancy complications within that. And when you're trying to fit those complications with the overall broad topic itself of the lecture, you'll find yourself discarding unnecessary details and trying to gain the main understanding of the lecture itself to help you tie it with the overall broad concept of, well, pregnancy. Forming these links though is not enough. You want to take it one step further. If you're going to leave this video taking one point, it's this upcoming thing. This is the most important step in order to help you focus completely. When you're listening to the topic of your class, you want to start forming predictions on what exactly it's going to discuss. Going back to the complications of pregnancy, I want to start predicting what those complications actually are before the lecture gets to them. That way, I start forming a narrative in my head based on the information that's currently coming in and based on the information I already have in my head. It doesn't have to be a very complicated prediction though. Something very simple in your head to constantly juggle the information that's currently coming in and using it right away. This usage of your higher cognitive functions will help you tune into a much higher level of focus focus because your brain is committed to this one act of forming a narrative by extracting information from the lecture actively. You know what's very cool though? When you form this narrative and make assumptions about a lecture and how it's supposed to go, you are opening yourself to criticism from the lecture itself. What this means is as new information is coming from the lecture itself, you're constantly transforming your narrative in order to fit the new information and the facts that are presented to you. For example, I know that pregnancy consists of three trimesters. I know that some complications of pregnancy occur in the first trimester. As I'm actively listening to the lecture itself, I'm gaining new information about what those complications might be affecting the first trimester. But say there was something wrong about that understanding. The lecture itself will go ahead and clarify that topic for me by criticizing my own understanding of the topic itself. And that way I can form a new opinion on it that is not wrong. Okay, great. But what about really boring and slow lectures? What do you do then? You want to do pretty much the same thing, but you want to take things into your own hand instead. I found that when you're sitting down in a lecture and it's really slow, just going and reading ahead without actually listening to the instructor is also a very good idea because you're essentially doing the same thing. You're constantly fishing for details and facts about your preformed notion about the topic and trying to make it fit your narrative. And if there's something confusing about the topic itself within the reading material, you can wait for the lecturer to reach that point in order to clarify it within class. Your ultimate goal, however, is to come out with 
a better and deeper understanding of the topic, not memorizing the details themselves. Those can come later because they're always available. You can look them up on the web. I am sure there's a guy out there that wrote them down. You can always ask for that. So I don't have to constantly worry about those minute details because I know eventually I'll reach them again. And honestly, that's it for the proactive nature of this mindset. Obviously, I can give you the generic tips that can help you focus during class, but there are plenty out there. You know them already. Sit in the front of the class, sleep adequately, have caffeine, sit away from your friend group, put away your phone. And for that, I just didn't opt in to discuss them. Now, I personally stopped taking notes in class and writing notes in general, and that helped me become a better student. So if you want to know more about that, you can check out this video right here. Someone walked in. That's so embarrassing. And with that, I conclude. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Have a fantastic day.